Good morning, I'm Miranda Van Bramer. The time is now 825. Authorities say four of five inmates were caught Saturday night, a day after their escape en route to a central Pennsylvania prison. The fifth man remains at large. Sheriff's spokeswoman Erica Stewart said a pair of special sheriff's units caught the four men about 24 hours after they escaped, but they are not releasing further details on where or how the fugitives were caught. Stewart said Juan Lopez, Jorge Lopez Diaz, Jake Schilling, Richard Reed, and Pete Schaefer, all of Madeira Township, were back in custody, but authorities around the state are still looking for the fifth escapee, Frank Soltes. The men were being held on various charges, including attempted murder and armed robbery, but they escaped on Friday after overcoming the driver of a prison transport vehicle, taking them to the state penitentiary in Carlisle. The driver of that vehicle is still in the hospital in critical condition after sustaining multiple blunt force head injuries. Authorities are asking anyone with information about the remaining fugitive to contact state police. Firefighters responded to a fire at a church in Martinsville that broke out around 4.30 this morning. It happened at Calvary Episcopal Church on 5th Avenue and the fire caused extensive damage to the church's vestibule and some water and smoke damage to the main altar. Investigators say lit candles sparked that blaze. No one was seriously injured, but one firefighter did suffer minor injuries when he slipped on some rubble at the scene. And in our entertainment report after 15 seasons, American Idol is fast approaching its series final. The producers announced this season's cast will not be touring the country, but the singers are still making the most of their final moments in the spotlight. Last night was hometown week on Idol, and that meant emotional reunions with friends and families who visited the set. The contestants wowed their supporters and the judges with power-packed performances, but it was frontrunner La Portia Renee who stole the show with her rendition of the Oscar-winning anthem from the movie Selma. Idol producers haven't yet released the finale's lineup of special guest performers, but word on the street says most recent Idol winner Scott McCreary will not be there because he is embroiled in a lawsuit with producers over his American Idol contract. And in sports, not a great weekend in our region for college football fans. UConn beat Pitt on Saturday 24-17 for its first Big East win this season. Penn State lost to the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers 32-23. And West Virginia fell to Oklahoma State 55-34. Right now we have your morning traffic update. Not too bad out there at the moment, but expect delays on the Parkway West inbound. PennDOT is reporting a disabled vehicle in the left lane right before the Parkway Center Mall exit. And in weather, a chilly morning gives way to unseasonably warm temperatures this afternoon. Expect a high of 55 degrees and then get ready for rapidly falling temperatures and even a light dusting of snow this evening. No significant accumulations to look forward to, but it may make your late night travels a little slick. The time now is 829. Stay with us for a preview of tonight's Pirate season opener. And join me, Miranda Van Bramer, for another news and traffic update at the top of the hour.